The Pulse Field Expert channel extends a warm welcome to you. In today's session, we will delve into one of Excel's most potent features, Power Query. Excel serves as a versatile tool for a multitude of tasks, with report generation being a common use case. Reports, such as monthly sales reports or any recurring reports sourced from consistent data inputs, are frequently created by Excel users. This tool, Power Query, proves indispensable in streamlining such repetitive report generation processes. Presented here is our beloved sales data table, meticulously organized within an Excel data sheet. This comprehensive data set spans multiple years and encompasses a wide array of months. To provide a sense of scale, we are dealing with an impressive 36,000 transactions within this dataset. In an effort to explain our process, we have thoughtfully divided this extensive dataset into distinct Excel files, categorized by year and month only. From all these month and year-wise separated Excel files, we have kept two Excel files in a separate folder named By Month. This folder is created to work as the source of the final data set. I will now open a new Excel file. I will select the blank template to start with. Now let us open the Data menu. Here you can locate the Get Data menu. But first, let's save this empty Excel file. Name it Report. or maybe sales report. Now I will open the Get Data menu. Under this, I will select from Files and then from Folder. Then select the folder by month, where kept two months sales data. Excel will now create a connection to this folder data source and show in a new window that the folder has two files as a source. Here we have options like Combine, Load, and Transform Data. Under Combine, three options are listed. We will select the Combine and Transform Data option under the Combine button. This will load the Power Query Combine File window. As a sample file, the first of these two files are selected. Remember, the folder data source must have data sets with identical column heads. We will select Sheet 1 and click OK for Excel to open the Power Query main window. It takes a little time to open the Power Query window. Let us examine the data set within Power Query. It has imported all the columns and has defined the data type against each column quite accurately. It has added a new column, source name, where it listed the file name from which the data is imported. Here we have the first file source for the year 2021 and month one. We also have the second source as year 2021 and month two. In the data source folder, we kept two files. Both are combined and imported, exactly as expected. But in our aggregated table, we do not need the source name field. As that will never be used in any analysis, we will remove that data column. We also do not need the index column. We will remove that too. We need the date, year, month, etc. columns. Here we have age as a numeric value. We need to categorize them by age group. I will keep the age column selected, and then under the Add column menu, I will select the column from examples option. This will create a new column named column one. I will rename that to age group. Now the interesting part, I will type in young in the first row where the age is 19. Next, I will type middle-aged in the fourth row, where the age is 36. 
you can see that Power Query is trying to guess what you want, but it does not have enough information. Let's type in the second row too. Now Power Query has filled in all rows with either young or middle-aged. Next, let me type senior on the sixth row. Here the age is 53. As we click Enter, we see that Power Query has built a logical function to fill up the age group column. We can click OK to accept this function. Then in the function edit window, we can easily modify the values in this function to our needs. I changed the age criterion for senior to 51 and 31 for middle-aged. Then click Enter, Done. We now have the age group field calculated from the actual age. What is so unique in Power Query is it keeps all stages that we performed in a list nicely recorded here. Starting from the source reading to the last age group field creation. We can move these steps, edit these steps, or even delete these steps. Therefore, the Power Query can always perform these steps when it finds a new data file. I will click the Close and Load button. This will close the Power Query window and load the data in our Report Excel file. I will now open the new Analyze Data function. This we have discussed in another video, for which I will provide a link in the I button and in the description box. This is another superb artificial intelligence-driven feature of Excel 365. I will quickly create an analysis dashboard using this feature. I am fast-forwarding this dashboard creation process. We are done with the dashboard creation. The data file now has two months of data, and so is the dashboard. Let's save this and minimize this Excel file. Now, I will move all the month's data into the folder by month, which is our data source for the report Excel file. Now let's switch to the Excel file and let's click the Refresh All button under the Data tab. This will import data from all months and combine the same automatically within a second. You will no longer have to re-edit your data while importing, nor you will need to add the new age group column. Your dashboard or report will also get updated automatically. This is really clever. The Power Query can be used wherever the data manipulation task is repetitive. This provides unmatched power to the user. Earlier, such data manipulation was only possible through some scripting environment like R, Python, or Excel's built-in Visual Basic. There is a lot more one can do with Power Query. The Excel file used in this example is attached to this video's description section. Download that file and examine that for a better understanding. Kindly try doing this on your own for the best understanding. Do let me know your questions and feedback through the comment box. Kindly subscribe to the Pulse Field Expert channel and click the bell icon for notifications. Hope to see you in another such training video soon.